M0 FXB, welcome to my channel. So you got one of these dual hotspots um, and the whole point is to receive two time slots at the same time on DMR. So you can see it's working in the background. So just show you the settings on my configuration page. There's the settings, DMR. We're on OLED screen, there's your frequencies. 9 megahertz, 439450 and 434450. So you've got a five megahertz split there. Otherwise, it's DMR number, call sign. This is the hat you you select, MMDVM, dual hat. This one here. Roger, Roger. And, uh... Nice and loud in the background. So, Brownmeister in the UK with my self-care password. So that's all the information there. Then here, MMDVM host, you select these two. You do reboot after. You can add a Nextian screen, just click Nextian here and then select the method you've connected. If it's USB, it will show up. Uh, so select them. You've got different for, um, software to select there as well with Nextian screens. Uh, so DMR mode, I've called it Pi Style Jeweled Hat. It's all there. Now the important thing is you need to add your Brandmeister manager. So the way you do that is go expert. Then here it says BM API. This is where you're going to add your key. This is my key. You copy and paste something here. So go back to self care, log into your self care account. There's two things you've got to do. Make sure you've got a self care password, which is very simple. You enter, create an account here. Let us M zero FXB. Enter your password here and save it. And then when you're in the Pi Star settings, um, you just need to, if we come out of here, go to configuration. And when you select Brandmeister, your password goes here. Okay, same password as that. And then once you've, um, let's go back to adding that key. So you go configuration, expert, BM API key, go back to self care, and then here click to go to profile settings, and then go to API key. Now you can have more than one for each hotspot, you see? So there's one there. If you want to add one, click add here on the right. See my mouse there? And then give it a name. So we just call it John for now. Click OK. Now you can delete these, of course copy it like so and see that the way it's copied go back to your hotspot and then right click paste and you'll end up with this okay and once you've done that apply changes and go back to your dashboard and what will happen now is when you click admin you've now got this page where there's all sorts of things you can do but for me to get my jewel hat working I had to add talk group so I've added um, 91 on slot one and slot two because that's the whole point of a dual hat is you can receive two hot two transmissions at the same time uh, but you won't hear them both at the same time but the the hotspot will transmit them at the same time because time slot one and time slot two imagine it it's like cutting your channel in half and using it you know it's like have it's like one talk group is two channels because of slot one and slot two you need to get the color code correct so let's say we want to add another popular one. So let's put in two, uh, three, five, three. That's a popular one. And you just click, you select slot one or two, it's up to you. And click modify, we've just done that. And then let's add another one. Um, so we just go admin, and go two, three, five, two, which is popular chat sort of channel. We can say let's put that on slot one this time. Modify, so it's going to receive all these. Here they are; they're all appearing here, um, and they're going to come through, and well, hopefully two at a time. If they're on, if one, if one comes through on slot two, and one comes through on slot one. See here, you can see here along here, slot two, slot one, slot two, slot one. Yeah, um, that means if I turn on two DMR radios, which I will do in a minute, to test uh, one hotspot, dual hotspot like this will transmit to two radios so just to try and remember all that drop me a line for any questions but it's great fun 73 thanks for watching my channel 
Please like and subscribe, all the best.